What's good? What's good? It's your boy, Drama House A Game Entertainment 216, the movement we move with. You dig? <laughs> hey, man, I just was watching that Queen's Flip interview with Bosco. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to um, Queen's Flip to keep the movement going. You understand me? We got to get rid of them culture vultures, Jordan Towers, Vlad TV. We got to get exterminate them. We got to get them out the way and give us and take our platforms back with our people. You know what I'm saying? Let our people tell they people the story, man. We don't need them telling them to them vultures. You understand me? But back to this interview, man, this blog, I mean, like, man. Bosco, man, that, that's crazy the way your own niggas did you, though, man. And, you know, I applaud you or whatever for coming and making a comeback like that. You understand me? To be able to sit in front of your camera after taking a beating like that. You understand me? And still be a gangster. You understand me? I respect your gangster, homie, because we all take L's. I didn't took plenty of L's. You understand me? We all take L's. But, like, for you to, like, like you broke the internet. You the first dude to ever, like, break the internet. That's crazy for your man to set you up like that. You understand me? Know what they was doing because all they were saying is, this is for Twitter. Put this on YouTube or whatever. Like, this is they man. You understand me? This is like, this blood. This is what we do. You understand me? We go at these other guys. So I just want to say to the kids, you see now? You see you can't even trust your own friends because they really don't love you. You understand me? They'll do anything for the fame, man. They'll put you on um, world star just to be famous for a hot second, man. They don't even pay these guys for this shit, man. This is what they do to you, man. So do you really want to be a part of some shit like that? People that tell you they love you when they really don't? When some shit go on? If a lie gets spreaded, you know what I'm saying? And you can't really, you know you ain't tell a lie, but you can't get your way out of it. Niggas gonna whoop your ass, man. And then when they find out it's a lie, niggas gonna be patting hug you like, you know, it wasn't like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I love you, my nigga. This shit was getting out of hand. That's what they're going to do instead of even, they ain't going to try to find out how it happened, who said this or whatever. Nah, they're going to jump at you. You know why they're going to jump at you? Because you ain't got nobody to back you up. You ain't no real tough guy. But if you was a real, real tough guy, niggas are putting that work like, I need to see this. I need to see the paperwork. I need to know that this really happened before we ride on this nigga. You understand me? Because they know it's repercussions when you ride on a nigga that can ride back. But when you can't ride back and they know you all, they, you, they all you got. They ride on you for the simplest shit, man. You know how I many rappers in the game be getting their ass whooped? Your favorite rappers, man, be getting their ass whooped by their own entourages from lies being spreaded. You feel me? Or niggas thought they heard something one way and they ain't hear it that way and they whoop your ass. Man, it's a lot of shit. When I used to fuck around with Mo Thug or whatever, I heard about a lot of ass whoopings from different sets of niggas, man. That was getting their ass whooped from he say, she say shit. You need to watch what you say, man. So this blog I'm saying about Bosco on um, Queen's Flip, I was watching this shit. And Queen's Flip was asking the dude, like, how did you get into it with the dudes that you was fighting? So um, Bosco broke it down like dude was on Twitter turning up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He was talking his shit. He was going that game or whatever. Game responded. Dude was in his bag feeling good. I guess, you know, the city riding with him. He got some music out or whatever. So he did some shit with niggas do. You know what I'm saying? Like lying on your dick in the way. But he's like, nigga, I, nigga I'm going to keep it real with y'all. First time I ever did a song was three months ago. Okay. So be it. Even no, no, none of the other homies and nobody else felt to step in and be like, no, nigga, I got songs from you from three years ago. You just fucked up this man whole shit, my nigga. Playing or not, you just fucked up this man whole shit. You feel what I'm saying? So now he looks stupid. So when he turn up on you like nigga such and such, how you going to get mad and come back at the nigga instead of like, no, bro, bro, I was just fucking around with you. It ain't nothing like that. Then you'd be like, oh, okay, bro, bro. You feel me? But no, you turned back up on the nigga. So there was hate in your tweet in the first place. Because if it wasn't, why you tweeted? Oh, I was just tweeting something. I was just, niggas know I'm blood. Nah, niggas don't know nothing. Nigga was in his bag and you felt some kind of way and you jumped into some shit you shouldn't have jumped into. Your ass couldn't cash it. Them niggas dog walked you. 
you begged for that dog walk. Because even in the interview, you said you kept calling, wondering where this nigga at. He, they probably would have let this shit go. But you kept pressing it, Cardi B. You kept pressing this shit so you got what you deserve, nigga. You kept knocking on the devil's door. Somebody opened it up and they flamed your dumb ass. That's what really happened, Bosco. You feel me? They like the nigga was feeling himself and all that. Yeah, he probably was feeling himself. But when you hit him with that tweet, nigga, that was a low blow, nigga. You fucked up his whole shine because you was hating, nigga. And if you wasn't hating, when the nigga started turning up, you supposed to be like, no, nah, bro, bro, it was just a joke, nigga. I'm fucking with you. You feel me? But no, nah, you ain't feel like that. You like, nigga, that ain't you. This ain't the kind of nigga you is. You was hating, nigga. Just like Queen Slip said, you was trolling, nigga. You probably ain't know you was trolling, but you knew you was trolling, nigga. You get what I'm saying, nigga. You feel me? And I'm not hating on you, Bosco. I fuck with you. You a funny-ass nigga. You understand me? I'm proud of you, but, nigga, we gonna correct some of that shit you was saying because, nigga, you need to, nigga, understand what you did was wrong and them niggas helped you out with that. Like, my nigga, you was wrong. While you still talking about these niggas was hyped up off the fame or whatever, or they was in a bag. No, nigga, it was you and your feelings, nigga, because you wasn't popping like that at the time. So when a nigga put out some shit, some exaggerated shit, you felt like you needed to step in. Why ain't nobody else step in? Seven billion people on the planet, why nobody else stepped in? And you said y'all niggas was cool, but then when the shit hit the fan or whatever, you said y'all wasn't really cool just because you met a nigga before. Like, you was like stumbling over your words. That shit didn't make sense, boss. You understand me? So, by me fucking with you, I just felt like I wanted to just check the situation, like, like I be doing on shit. You understand me? And uh, then this next situation, you said you got into it with a nigga. It seemed like you is causing these situations where you keep blaming other niggas because you said you met these niggas before, one time or whatever. Dude told you to holler at dude or whatever. Name of their team was called Yard Down. You come out after the shit jump off or whatever when you want to get on the mic with your fucking shit called yard down. Them niggas feel some kind of way. They met you before. They know, nigga, that you know that they name was yard down. You know that. You feel me? And you probably was like, man, fuck them niggas. Them niggas ain't really doing shit, so you ain't feel like it was going to escalate. But nigga, every time it seemed like some shit happened, you the cause of it, homie. You the motherfucking cause of it. And even though niggas might have died after that, after that situation that had nothing to do with you, because they was already, you know what I'm saying, being in the game, doing what they doing. That don't justify that what you did was wrong, man. Them niggas would have never got at you. You would have never got beat up like that, man. They beat you up kind of like bad. My nigga, they beat you up like you was a crip in the, in, in, a, in, the wrong, in the blood neighborhood, man. They dogged you worse than they probably would have dogged the crip. They broke your hand, fucked your face up, you understand me? Your eyes all swollen, full of blood or whatever. They dogged you, kicked you. Damn, kicked you while you was down and you supposed to be blood? Wow, that's foul. Them niggas was foul as fuck, my nigga. And I ain't saying nothing good about them niggas. Them niggas was foul as fuck to do you like that, my nigga. But that broke the internet, man. And after that, it was plenty more of that type of shit that happened, man. You the reason for World Star, man. Not because you got your ass beat. It's because of you was hating and a motherfucker. You started to hate on Twitter that started to hate on YouTube and Facebook and everywhere else, my nigga. Congratulations, homie. Bosco 100, you started that shit, my nigga, because it all happened after you. <laughs> it all happened after you. So anybody, you know what I'm saying, that watched that motherfucking interview, watch that ass whipping he took, and look at what he said, you understand me, and learn from that, kids. Learn to don't be fucking with these niggas because they really don't love you, man. They really don't love you. You feel me? I've been jumped by niggas. I've been jumped by niggas that was my own niggas, but it was like... You know how you running with niggas? They, you know how when you younger, like 13, 14 or whatever, you might be the bummiest nigga, so niggas might want to pick on you sometime or whatever. But, like, you know, that shit started fights. You understand me? And I'm a nigga that wasn't backing down, so I got jumped. But it wasn't no real jump because we was 13, 14 years old, and it wasn't nothing. But the way they dogged this nigga, man, they dogged this nigga, man. It was kicking him in his face. This big, big-ass nigga was punching him in his face. They was jumping the nigga like they really dogged that nigga, man. They treated that nigga like they ain't know him, man. They treated that nigga like they ain't know him. So I understand how hurt he was feeling behind that shit because he was hurt from that ass whooping because he ran. He didn't, like he was saying in the blog, like, yeah, I stood up, nigga, and held my own. No, you didn't, nigga. You was scared the motherfucking death. Nigga, 
And I understand, you was already fucked up, you understand me? But you caused that shit on yourself. So when you call shit on yourself, you got to let it go. And I understand by him saying, by him doing what he's still doing, blogging, showing up, talking that tough shit like he do or whatever, he blamed it on himself. Now, he might not tell us that he, he was wrong for what he did, but he told himself that he was wrong for what he did because he know deep inside. You always know when you caused something. You always know. You feel me? I know when I done done shit and got fucked up or fucked over or whatever, I caused it on myself because if I wouldn't have made this move, this move wouldn't have happened. You understand me? And that's how life is. You got to watch what you say. At any given time, you got to watch what you say because what you say out your mouth can get you fucked up more than the things that you do. You understand me? So when you around a bunch of motherfuckers and your man might might have um, sold you a pack or whatever or some A1, keep it to yourself. Unless it's another nigga that you hustle with tough and you know he don't get busy like that because it like, my man's got the A1. Nigga, I got, look at this, nigga, I got the fiends on lock. And some niggas over here looking like, oh, your man's got the A1? Oh, him? Oh, that nigga pussy. You feel me? And they going to get that nigga. And then at the end of the day, when niggas start breaking down what happened, guarantee your name come up. Like, you know, old boy was talking, you know, talking about you had to work and all this and all that. They going to mix it up a little bit so your man's looking like, damn, my nigga, you putting my business out there like that? And get you fucked up when it wasn't even like that. You feel me? You got to watch what you're saying around certain motherfuckers. P period. You got to watch what you say. Mind your own motherfucking business. That's what you got to do, man. Because if you don't and you keep and you fuck around with the look, like when I'm trolling niggas or whatever on any place, I'm looking like, is this nigga in my city? Because why would I troll niggas in my city and I bump into them and I don't recognize them and they recognize me and I get fucked up? You feel me? When you playing in this dirty game or whatever and it's just a game, Watch how you play it. Make sure you play it play it right. Be smooth with that shit. Just don't be all out trolling because you might get your ass fucked up or even killed, man. It's not a game. These niggas think it's a game until somebody get dead. You feel me? Motherfuckers think shit a game until motherfuckers get dead. And that's a lot of motherfuckers getting dead. And niggas still don't get the motherfucking picture, man. They still don't get the picture. So, um... Back to what I was talking about with the boss going to Queens Flip. Queens Flip asked him about the snitching shit. And, Bob, you know, because I did see that shit on the internet with um, Bosco mom saying that he witnessed the murder and he had to go to court or whatever. But Bosco said he was a character witness. So it was like to help a nigga out in a way. Like instead of snitching on a nigga, it was like he like a nigga seen him. was like, bro, this nigga was he seen what happened. He know I ain't the nigga that did it. So what can you say behind that? You know what I'm saying? That ain't snitching. And ain't nobody got no paperwork on Bosco or nothing. But I just wanted to do this blog to let Bosco know, you know, you was dead wrong. Because if you wouldn't have made that move, none of this shit would ever happen. But at the same time, this could be a good thing because it was promotion to make make you make you who you are now. You feel me? And niggas fuck with Bosco. That's why you was on Queen's Flip. And you know what I'm saying? You a silly ass nigga, man. You know? And you blood. You know what I'm saying? I'm blood. You know what I'm saying? It's going to all love at the end of the day. But nigga... I just had to holler at you right quick, nigga, because you know you caused that shit, my nigga. But like I said, this could be a good thing. You broke the internet, my nigga. But I ain't going to lie, man. I watched the whole ass whooping, and they dogged you. Like, I, I, I couldn't believe that they dogged you like that, and niggas thought that shit was funny. You feel me? They tried to play you like you was a straight lane, like you wasn't, like you was a wannabe. That's how they dogged you, like you was some kind of wannabe. You wasn't really even affiliated like that. You feel me? And that's the way it looked, my nigga. So I think you always going to have that balance where niggas going to be like, man, that nigga got his ass. Well, nigga, the whole ass nigga. Niggas going to be like, oh, they jumped that nigga. He a real ass nigga or whatever. You feel me? Because you got a fan base now. Your fan base ain't going to turn it back on you because of no sucker shit like that. They going to go watch it, though. You feel me? They going to go watch it. But they ain't going to turn it back on you because you a cool, funny ass nigga, man. You be calling everybody ugly. You understand me? You the ugliest nigga I have seen on the internet. You understand me? Like, besides me, you uglier than me, my nigga. Like, so I'm saying to myself, like, this nigga is through. You feel me? Like, damn. And I thought, like, when I first seen before, like, I, I need to see the video. I need to see you before I see you getting jumped. Because you might look regular like us, like, with regular skin. Because dude looked like he beat your face to look like it looked now. Like, like, round beef. It was like, dude was big as fuck. Like, it looked at, like, the Jaggernaut beating up Spider-Man. That's what it looked like. He was a 
pounding and kicking your face in. Like, so when I seen the interview after that, how your face looked like a sport spoiled orange or something i was like oh what the fuck happened to him like it looked like dude like beat you with a, a hot iron like he was putting a hot iron on your face and, and poking your face with screwdrivers it, that's how bad you look to me when i look at you you know what i'm saying so like even thing look like tattoos on your face which it ain't them is like scars like like when you probably drink water like it come out your face like like you ugly as fuck you look like the first man like a caveman like if they never came out with beards you would be in trouble like thank god for whoever thought about bringing beards to life because without that bosco would be somewhere fucked up my nigga like that like that's crazy like you look like somebody swagged up the first man like captain caveman face <laughs> like you understand me like i'm like really like wondering like why what happened to you like like for real like what did your moms have like a barbed wire fence in her pussy when they was pushing you out and your face went through the barbed wire like it tore your shit like you look crazy you understand me but it is what it is man and to the kids out there stop fucking with gangs man please <laughs> they'll beat the shit out you and they'll kill you if they hear the wrong shit and you ain't have to do it you feel me you ain't even have to do it they'll beat you or kill you real talk man big up to queen's flipper you know what i'm saying keep coming with that gangster shit you understand me you did <laughs>